Mohammad Azam, and this is the Learning Coco Studio part number 14, and we are going to discuss how to do sprite animation. So for sprite animation, the first thing that you need is a multiple sprites that are in basically action. So you can have like a, I don't know, like a dog running actions or sequences. One image is kind of like standing up. The second image can be, you know, kind of like getting started to run. The third image can be he is kind of running and the fourth image can be he's running really fast, something like that. So you can go and develop these images yourself or you can go and find on the internet if you find those images. Of course, it's always a very good idea to read the uh, rules and agreements um, and, you know, to obey those rules and agreements if you have. Now, I got my images from the great blog uh, of Vicky Winderlich. You can visit the blog at wikivindelich.com and she posts this uh, great uh, basically images or a sprite sheet of a monkey uh, just moving or pushing things around. So I'm just going to use uh, two images of, uh, you know, basically uh, the monkey pushing, okay? So I've already downloaded these images. Here we go. That's the first image, uh, which is a monkey pushing. And uh, this is the second one. And if you, of course, run both of these images in a very fast manner, then it will seem that the monkey is actually moving and pushing something. Now what you need is you cannot really use these two images. Uh, I mean, you can, but it will be a good idea if you make a sprite sheet out of it. So a sprite sheet is a one larger image uh, which will have these two images. Okay, so there are multiple ways of creating sprite sheet. Uh, let me close my Twitter. Uh, you can go ahead and build the sprite sheet using uh, Zoptex, Zaptex. Uh, it's I think fifteen dollars. What I have used, I have used a different software. I've used a texture packer by Andreas Lowe. I think it's a much polished, much better uh, application, and uh, it cost I think like around twenty dollars. So it's really worth it. Okay. Okay, so it, yeah, it costs like $20. Anyway, so you can use Texture Packer to uh, create the, uh, basically to create a sprite sheet and Texture Packer will create you a plist file and a PNG file. And you can see this PNG file, it contains two images of the same monkey basically, but it's uh, kind of like the first image is that he's standing and the second image is that he's pushing something or moving. Okay, so now let's go ahead and code that. If I run the application right now, For some reason, my mic is coming into between me. There we go. Hmm. So here we go. You can see the, uh, you know, there's nothing going on right now. So let's go ahead and add some code. Um, basically, the first thing you will need to do is to add the sprite frame with the file so that the, uh, you know, your application has idea of where the frame begins or where the frame actually ends. I'm just going to copy the code over here. It is the CC sprite frame cache. So we are just going to load our monkey underscore sprite dot plist file, which contains all the information about the file. If I open the file, uh, it has the information, it has the frame, it has the metadata, uh, and it has, uh, you know, the offset, the frame, uh, source size and everything about the sprite. So this file actually had the information, the metadata related to our sprite sheet. The next thing that you can add is the use of the CC batch node. Now CC batch node uh, is very important if you are concerned about the performance because once you add things to the CC batch node, it will be searched. And if you want to render anything, uh, any of your sprite basically, then you can, you know, then instead of rendering it again and again, you can use CC uh, bash node to basically, you know, create the sprite. Uh, let me actually add the code. I got this code from uh, the great uh, Ray Vindelich. Okay, so I'm just going to add all of this right now and then explain what's going on. Okay, so we are using 
uh, we're creating a NS mutable array, which is a walking animation frames. We're running a loop and we are adding all of our sprites into this mutable array. Okay. And uh, you can actually see that I'm using the sprites are actually named in a very peculiar manner, like monkey underscore push underscore right underscore one. And that's a very good naming convention because I have to simply change the number over here, which is uh, number D. Uh, I mean, the, you know, the percentage assigned and D, which will be replaced by the number that I'm going to inject over here, which will be one and two. So we'll get all the frames. We are going to create an animation with a delay of 0 0.1 uh, seconds and uh, we get the size of the screen. The first one, actually this should be, I'm just calling it bear because I use bear, but uh, this will be our monkey basically. Okay, so the first frame that we are going to use for the monkey will be the monkey underscore push underscore right underscore one. Okay. And then we have this animation which is which will repeat forever. And uh, basically the, what the animation actually does is that it's animating uh, action with animation which is walk animation. Uh, and that's pretty much you know what it does. So if I want to do, right now if I want to run this, I'm just going to say uh, run action and pass in the walk action over here so that it will, seems like it's moving. And then of course you need to add, uh, am I not adding, okay, F for, um, sprite sheet I guess. Yeah, so I need to add that child and then a monkey and then finally add, uh, what is that called, the add child, and then add the sprite sheet. Okay. Let's run this. And if you can see, the monkey is, you know, moving actually. The tail is actually wiggling also, but the monkey is moving. Uh, don't worry about the frame rate. The frame rate I think is also going down because it, it might be recording or something, okay. The Camtasia running and it's recording and that's pretty much it I mean if you want to add one more action to it you can it's uh, terribly slow and uh, Camtasia is running but uh, here we go I think we can add one more action to it monkey run action and this is just a move action which will send the monkey from uh, one you know from the center of the screen to the to the right hand side so you can see that how the monkey is actually moving and there we go. So you can now see the monkey is actually moving to the right hand side of the screen. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, and if you do want to read an article about it, so I'm just going to forward it to you to the Ray's article. Uh, so just uh, search for uh, Ray Windelich and uh, I guess you have to search for maybe sprite animation or something like that. Uh, And you will find it, you know, how to use sprite animation uh, using sprite sheet in Coco Studio. And of course, Ray used a, a bear. I'm using a monkey, but it's the same thing. It has more images and you will find all the code over there. Okay. So that's pretty much it. I hope you like this uh, tutorial and uh, thank you very much and stay tuned for more.